Hi, my name is Ming Yao, and this is part 4 of my fracture mechanics and delamination video series. In cases where you don't know the direction of the crack growth, or you don't have it explicitly modeled, you can use a new capability in SS19 called Smart Fracture Mechanics Crack Propagation. This allows you to take a 3D model, define a crack, and model progressive damage and the crack growth in the model. So here we have the model. I'm going to set it up. Uh, and go through the process of setting up a fraction mechanic simulation. The part is made of structural steel. We can tune the material to be anything else we want it to be. Uh, let's generate a ge generic mesh. Okay, the mesh in the crack tip should be fairly refined. It's useful to go through a fracture mechanics refinement process to see what sizes are correct for fraction mechanics parameters. So let's say we want to divide up this by 10 divisions and we can specify a uh, let's say a curvature setting. Setting a curvature setting controls the growth rate of the mesh around the crack tip. Now the smart crack fraction mechanics requires this to be a tetrahedral mesh. So I'm going to switch from a hex mesh to a tetrahedron mesh and instead instead of edge sizing of 10 here let's take a look at the mesh that's generated All right, the mesh is small here and then it grows uh, progressively larger we can in fact change this to something called a sphere of influence so here we're going to need a, a coordinate system on this crack tip anyways so we might as well create one right now uh, let's create a coordinate system on this edge. And we can select this edge here. We can define a sphere, uh, a radius. You can visually see the size of the sphere of influence. So it's a little too small. Maybe we'll double the size there. And this means all the elements within this sphere that intersects the body will have a fairly small mesh on it. That could be our size. We'll make it a slightly smaller than that. And so we can take a look at the mesh now. That's a finely refined mesh and you can certainly refine that mesh more as needed. Uh, now let's define our fracture mechanics part. So we're going to define a fracture. This will be a pre-mesh crack. You can create an arbitrary crack or a semi-elliptical crack as well if you have an actual geometry, say a part with a lot of fillets, and you want to add a small crack to see what, what happens and how it grows. In this case, we're doing an example of maybe simulating some sort of a test where you have a sample and you want to cycle it or pull on it and for the crack to grow. So this will be a pre-mesh crack. We need to again define the the name selection for the for the crack front, and that's this edge. So let's create a name selection and turn that name selection into nodes. For the smart fracture mechanics, we need to also define the top and bottom face nodes. So I'm going to create name selection. For each of these, and uh, convert them into nodes, nodal name selection. So this will be my top, and this will be my bottom. So let's define those. You can see the coordinate system here is pointed in the plus x direction but it's oriented in the wrong direction so we can switch that let's go back to this coordinate system and we can convert our uh, our pre-mesh crack to be on our new coordinate system uh, the y axis is the axis normal to the crack plane so we want to, to orient our coordinate system such that the y is pointed in the global z axis Uh, reorienting the coordinate system doesn't change the mesh, so everything is set up as we would expect. Uh, next, 
previously we tried uh, interface delamination. This time we're going to go with the smart crack growth option. Again, this is new in Ansys Release 19. The initial crack will be my pre-mesh crack. We're going to do a static simulation. And what we need here is the, the critical stress intensity factor. Um, this, is, this should be calculated from experiment um, and simulation. So as I showed in the second video, you can do some simple experiments like a double cantilever beam test. Uh, model that experiment and then extract or calculate the appropriate critical stress intensity factor. I did a quick simulation of something similar, so I'm going to put in a value here that will result in a crack. And that should be it for the fraction mecha mechanics part of the setup. There's a question marks here, so uh, the limitation on fraction mechanics is that you have to either turn on the, the calculation for the stress intensification factor or the J integral, but not both. If you have both turned on, by, as shown by default, it will throw an error. Uh, the rest of the simulation should be straightforward, so we have a fixed support on the bottom. This will be a can, double cantilever type of uh, simulation. We're going to pull up half a millimeter and keep the y and x-axis planar. We also need to set multiple sub-steps. So we're going to run the simulation over 40 steps. We should see an incremental growth of the crack. Okay, the simulation is completed. Let's take a look at the results. We can see the growth of the crack. Let's slow this down a little bit. And we can refine the mesh to get a smoother crack growth process. It's important to take a look and see that the crack is all is splitting, the mesh is morphing, and is, we're maintaining the resolution of the mesh near the crack tip in order to grow the crack. And this is the new smart crack growth technology. Taking a look at the options here, we have the option of doing a static simulation or this can be a fatigue analysis. We can use the fracture criteria of stress intensity factor or the J integral. In addition to a static crack growth simulation, we can also perform a fatigue analysis. The fatigue calculation will be based on the Paris law and it will be tied to a particular material, in this case structural steel. The structural steel option here is highlighted in yellow because we don't have my Paris law properties defined there. We can define those properties under engineering data and the structural steel. If we go down to the bottom, there's a new option called crack growth law, Paris law. And pick the appropriate unit system and define the values. So the values from some literature as follows. These are fatigue calculations, so they're again heavily, heavily dependent on experiment, experimental results. So let me copy that over. And this one as well. Okay, now that I have that defined, we can bring in the refresh the material properties that then activates all of these simulations. So we, since we're doing a fatigue analysis, we have to have the same start and uh, instead of ramping the load, we're going to apply instantaneous load, which means this needs to be a constant value. Right, so change everything to a constant value and set this to be 1 micron. Right. So this will pull it up by a micron and the Paris law, the goal of something like the Paris law is to calculate number of cycles to failure 
and how far how far the crack grows. So this the ten cycles, and we'll go simulate this. Okay, so we need to make sure that the units are all the same. Alright, so we can take a look at the crack growth. This is highly exaggerated, so we can look at the true scale. Zoom in here. see the crack growing and the mesh distorting with it if we exaggerate the deformation you can see that the crack actually opening up uh, the nice thing about this is that we can also look at crack extension total number of cycles this shows the number of cycles for each stage of the crack so the the first part of the crack took 42,000 cycles and we can go here retrieve this result and then as we go forward the crack will start to open up uh, you can also prop, probe the crack extension to tell you how, how far the crack has grown as we over time so the key to here obviously is to get the correct Paris model values for the material you're using and that requires a lot of experimental cal calibration and certainly as with all simulation you should be validating and correlating the result to experiment. And this is it for this uh, last part of my fraction mechanics and delamination presentation. This is on Smart Crack Growth, one of the brand new really exciting features ANSYS released in release 19. Thank you.